Hi there, my name is Rachel Seymour and today I'm going to be talking to you about my product, The Boil and Brew. I don't know about you all, but I like my sleep, so I try to limit the amount of things I have to do in the mornings and try and get up as late as possible. One thing that takes me the longest time in the morning is making my coffee. Between boiling the water and waiting for the coffee to be ready in the French press, it's always one thing I'm waiting for before I leave, and then most of the time it's cold by the time I get to drink it. This is why, in collaboration with the Stanley, Stanley Cup brand, I have created the Boil and Brew. It looks like all of the Stanley Cups, but it has um, an electric component, so it can heat up water and keep your coffee hot once it's made, and is also a French press. This means that you have, that all you have to do in the morning is add water and coffee grounds, and then you're set to go about your day. It can be heating the water while you're in your car or on your way to work, and then once it's heated, it will stay hot, depending on the temperature you set it on. There are multiple temperature settings, so you can have it on once it's done brewing, um, and it'll stay the temperature you like for as long as six hours. There's nothing like this on the market. The only thing that slightly resembles this product is temperature controlled mugs, but that is just one of the many features of this product. It doesn't have any real competitors, which means that the only competitors we'd be working with, like working against are competitors like Starbucks and other coffee brands, but none that produce a product like ours. We plan on charging around $100 for this product. It's a high-end um, high brand already, so, um, so we feel that this price um, is valid for our product. Kettles normally go from anywhere between $40 and $130, and French presses run from $15 to $80. And with all of these aspects combined, we think that $100 is a perfect amount. Um, and will take into consideration the production costs and the, um, the market and the features of the product. We plan on selling this product mostly online. Stanley doesn't have any actual stores, but their products are sold in some other retail stores like Walmart, REI, and so on. So it'd probably be a good idea to do mostly online and then dabble in some store retail. Stanley already has a great reputation and the coffee industry is a tough one. Um, because there are so many brands in the market, but I believe our product will thrive because it gives people the gift of not only coffee, but time.